Okay guys and welcome back. Now from this lecture you'll find a downloadable resource and that is an Excel file called emailautomation.xlsx and in there you're going to find a file that looks pretty much like this and a tab here that says get your code here. So what we're going to do in this section is look at automating Outlook so you can send an email campaign from the push of a button. Now what we have in this particular demonstration is we have an amazing sunscreen product that we want to sell to people with blonde hair. So here we have our data set which I know you've seen before. We only have about 50 people in there but we have some people with blonde hair and they are the people that we want to send our email to. So I'm just going to flip to Outlook so you know there's no trickery. I'm just going to close that bit. So you can see that Outlook has no emails in it. So what I'm going to do is press the button. Then I'm going to flip back to Outlook and depending on how fast my internet connection is, any second now all of our emails from our email routine should start dropping into our inbox. Now while we're waiting, uh, perhaps I'm not going to speak while that happens because it's going to keep making a noise. Uh, but here we go. Everyone with blonde hair in our list is now receiving an email. Now, obviously, all the email addresses are just excelessentials at gmail.com, so everything is going to come to me. But you can see if we look here, the first one is to Luca, and we have our wonderfully tailored message here. The next one is to Leo, and the next one is to Molly. So it's actually extracting their first name so we can personalize our email. And there you go, the routine is complete. Now just in case you ever hear these terms, there are two ways that you can automate Outlook from Excel using VBA. You can either use early binding or you can use late binding. We're going to use late binding and I only ever use late binding. Early binding, there are some advantages in that it's slightly easier to code. The major disadvantage is, is that you have to set a reference to the Outlook library in your Visual Basic for Applications editor. Now that is not a problem whatsoever providing that the code and the spreadsheet is always run from your machine. If you give it to your buddy when they press the button it will not work so then you're going to have to go to their machine and you're going to have to go into their Visual Basic editor and set the reference to the Outlook object library and if they pass it on to someone on the other side of the department then you're going to have to go to their machine and do the same so literally if your programs are ever going to have to be used by multiple people use late binding I always do, and it's a jolly good idea that you always do too. Okay, I'll see you in the next lecture where we're going to have a look at how that works. I'll see you in the next lecture.